Hi, welcome to Danny Gold Dad. I'm Mark. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and leave your comments down below. Today we're going to be looking at this Metcalf kit, which I won on a giveaway from Toby over at Roof Railways. I'll leave a link to his channel down below, so please do go and check him out. He's a young lad. He started off in model railways, so give him your support. Leave a comment under his videos. Let them know that I sent you over there. And we'll get on with the build. So here's the kit we're going to put together. It's a terraced houses, red brick effect. But before we open this and have a look at it, we'll just have a look at some of the other stuff Metcalf does. So these are some other things I use, uh, self-adhesive stone paving slabs. They also do sheets of stonework, paving sheets. Um, here's a couple of other builds that are in my project pile. So we've got a red brick platform. We've got some lower relief terraced houses in brick and also in stone. And here's an example of something I made earlier. This is an island platform waiting room with canopy. As you can see, they're quite versatile kits. Do go and have a look at their website if you're not familiar with them. They do lots of different types of kits for your model railway and for your villages, scenes, all sorts of things. So do check them out. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them. So let's open this one up and we'll have a look at what's inside. So here it is out of the packet. So you can see it's on card, mostly cut out. You just need to go around it with a craft knife just to pop it out completely. And then we can see the details of the houses, all the instructions on the tabs. second sheet. Now we have a paper sheet there or a light card sheet with some different styles of curtains and doors and everything so you can make them all different if you're having a row of them and some extra red brick and stone effect card for extra customization. You have a sheet of tiles, some stone effect tiles for outside and we have all the glazing there on plastic uh, lintels and sills to finish it off and ridge tiles and extra card bits and there you have the instructions the instructions are quite comprehensive always give them a good scan through before you start because there's different bits and pieces on there sometimes you have to make up little tools and jigs to help you make your kit um, but follow it through step by step and you really won't go wrong. So what do you need to put a kit together? Sharp knife, a pair of scissors, various types of tweezers are handy, a metal ruler, of course glue. Now what I do with the glue is I decant some of it into here and then I use a cocktail stick or in this case a skewer for applying the glue. It gives you a much more control. Some other things you might find useful are these uh, magnetic corners. If you need to hold something in place, they're very useful. Or even just some plastic pegs. Plastic is better than wood because if they get stuck, it's easier to peel the glue off a plastic peg than a wooden peg. Let's have a look at my craft knife. I picked this set up in Aldi over a year ago and it comes with a sharpening stone. And you can use this on your blade just to give it a fresh edge so you simply just rub it up and down, holding the blade at an angle. Be careful not to jab it into your fingers. And that just sharpens it up again, so you can reuse it instead of swapping out blades all the time. These are just some different types of sharpening stones. For sharpening blades, you can see they're different shaped curves, narrow for different for knives and different types of blades. Um, I'll link Timber Surf's video that he's done on this. Uh, if you don't know Timber Surf, have a look at his channel. He has lots of interesting little vid bits and tips and tricks for model railways, and I'll link him down below. So let's get on with the build. I'm not going to video the whole process of putting this together because the instructions are very good. It gives everything in a lot of detail. If you follow through the instructions, you won't go wrong. What I do with mine when I'm building is I leave everything on the 
the sheet and only cut out the pieces as I need them. Some people cut all the pieces out and stack them, but I just find it easier to keep everything together on the sheets and cut them out as I need them using your craft knife and your straight edge for cutting. When you are cutting these out, you have to be very careful because it's very easy for the knife to jump and then score into the card. And then you've got some damage then on your model. So I'm going to carry on building. I'll, uh, I'll video little bits of phases of it so you can see it progressing. Here you can see I've got the glazing in and I'm just doing the curtains. So what I've done is the inserts that have come out where the windows were, I've cut these in two. And I'm just sticking them down either side of the window. Like so. And you can see how I'm using the cocktail stick or skewer, a little bit of glue on the end. It just gives you a lot more control to put the glue exactly where you want it to go. Pop that on there like that. And what that does is it gives the curtains a little bit more depth. So take your curtains from one of the sheets and just don't cut them all square, cut them all different shapes. And even when you're sticking them on, you don't have to put them on square because when you look into a house, the curtains can be all sorts of ways. So you can put them at a bit of an angle. And make sure you uh, pick the same colour both sides. Unless you're going for that effect. Not down, and then we'll just flick it over so we'll have a look and make sure they're square. And there you can see by putting them in at different angles, you can see the curtains look half drawn, that sort of thing. Okay, so I'll carry on now with the build and come back a bit later. You can see the build is progressing quite nicely. You can see how I've been using these magic clamps to hold the corners in place while the glue's drying. And also the pegs on the chimney stacks there to keep them together until the glue's dried. The glue I'm using actually is rocket card glue. It's a very good glue when you're doing these sort of card kits. It doesn't take too long to dry, so you can progress quite quickly. And if I haven't said before, always remember you're using a good cutting mat or a good surface for cutting on that you don't damage anything. So I'll carry on with the build now. At this stage of the build, if you're considering putting lighting in, this would be the time to do it. You can run your cables inside and hide them. You also may want inside to give everything a coat of black to help stop any light bleed and maybe put in some cardboard partitions inside if you only want one particular room illuminated. There's the house complete as far as I want to take it. I've done the chimney pots. These are cut out from this sheet here and then simply wrapped around a four mil drill bit to give me the circular shape and then glued on top. I haven't put the bay windows on because they don't fit the design that I want on my layout. These are going to be street facing houses. And you can see the house when it's complete, it's quite sturdy and it looks quite good. All that remains to be done on it now is these sort of edges here. It's just using a, a red marker or some red paint. Just score down the edges and likewise a grey one along there just to get rid of the cardboard colour. When you're doing that, just do uh, a test on some cardboard first just to make sure you get the colour right. And you can see with the kit, there's a lot of spares left over. I've got some more ridge tiles some paving slabs, curtains, bits and pieces. So you do end up with extras out of it, which you can use when you're doing other builds if you want to adjust them or make your own refinements on them. Hope you enjoyed that little look at Metcalf kits today and how they go together. Don't forget to head over to Toby's channel, Roof Railways. Subscribe, leave a comment, let them know who sent you over there. Also have a look at Timber Surf's channel as well. I'll leave links to them down below. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments down below and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. This is my knife set, which I picked up in Aldi over a year ago. Comes with a sharpening stool. Stool?